Hey, what's up, Comic Wow? This is Gigi coming at you from San Diego Comic Con International 2015. And I am very pleased to be joined by Ted Adams, CEO of IDW. Thanks so much for making the time for us today. Absolutely. Thanks for being here. So I feel like we got a lot to cover because IDW has got a lot going on. So let's first talk about what are your forefronts right now at Comic Con? What products and uh, books are you pushing? Okay, sure. Yeah. So we have multiple divisions at IDW. There's, of course, IDW Publishing, and that's the first business that we had doing comics and graphic novels. And then at the end of last year, we bought Top shelf who you can see here in uh, the forefront of our banner we also have idw games where we do board games and a little bit of card games and then we have idw entertainment where we're actually doing our own tv development and kind of stepping out of the hollywood system and doing it ourselves mm -hmm. so it's kind of our four big four big brands and in addition we've got the san diego comic art gallery that we just visited Absolutely. today so that was super exciting yeah. so adding something even more to the mix yeah, that, uh, and as you saw that's all about kevin eastman the co-creator of the turtles and of course we've been publishing with kevin a long time I've been doing the turtles comics for a long time so that's a lot of fun for us as well so yeah, if you're in san diego please come to our gallery and congratulations because idw was represented at the eisners last night correct Yes, that's correct. And we were fortunate enough to win three Eisner Awards, which is uh, very exciting. And one of those awards was for a book that we published called Little Nemo, which I can show you. Oh, yeah, please. Uh, this is uh, Little Nemo. This is a book we do. It's written by Eric Schanauer and drawn by Gabe Rodriguez. And Gabe is probably best known as the co-creator and artist of Lock and Key. And so this is this one is really special to us because Gabe's been working for IDW from the very beginning of the days of IDW publishing. One of the first comics we published was based on the TV show CSI back in 2001, and Gabe drew that comic for us, and he's worked for us ever since. So. Oh, that's fantastic very, to have that kind of longevity of yeah, someone. Very special for us that he that he won the Eisner Award. It's very meaningful for us. That's awesome. So when you're cre when you're picking books for IDW and projects, is there a common thread that you link throughout them? Something specific that you look for Not for these? Really, no. We're pretty diverse, and so we we try to do a little bit of everything, and and we're diverse in content and also in format. We do some of the smallest comics in the world in the form of our micro comic fun packs which i can show you mm -hmm. this is since we were talking about kevin this is the uh, turtles so you can see <laughs> this is about as small as it gets for a comic book and this is actually designed to be sold in the trading card section at mass retail so places like target toys r us walmart you'll find this in the trading card section it's an impulse buy so it's parents and grandparents buying it for their young kids great stocking stuffer yeah absolutely and what we're hoping is is that for a lot of kids this is their first experience with a comic book and we want them to fall in love with the medium in the way that we have and then they can go and find out more comics find out more about comics from their comic book stores so. which is great i love the concept especially with so many things going digital nowadays but having something that preserves and creates in new fans the idea of just getting behind the actual books themselves yeah, and that's what we're all about really is trying to bring as many new people into comic book books as we possibly can so so i was joking we do the smallest comics in the form of the fun packs and then we of course do our artist editions and uh, this is our latest here that's beautiful this is uh, the frank miller daredevil artist edition and uh, i grew up reading these comics and of course this was a big influence on the netflix tv show and frank's work actually influenced the turtles so it kind of all does i guess there's your there is the thread uh, there's your thread <laughs> but uh, you know and i guess there is that thread that everybody does sort of learn from everybody else and that you know that's one of the nice things about comics is it's a community and mm -hmm. you know we're all we're all kind of in this together actually that's the words i've been saying nonstop throughout this entire con is we're all in this together yeah, <laughs> yeah and it's, it's so true it absolutely yeah. is true so and so this it's is beautiful this is again just a huge book and it's frank's beautiful art and it's really in a way that nobody's ever seen before so these are you know reproductions of his original art as he drew them we've you know anybody who's interested in comics has probably read this material before because it's so influential to so many different stories but this version of it is really unique so that's gorgeous so things like this are these being sold in bookstores comic shops these where are, these are really exclusively comic stores okay. yeah so uh we've we've really limited the distribution of this to comic book stores okay fantastic and then you told me you have something personal a, a tie-in for the comic right now that you've created oh. <laughs> avalanche <laughs> yeah i actually i haven't done a whole lot of writing for idw I, I i um kind of i'm so busy as ceo and publisher in my day job and then we have all these new divisions but mm -hmm. Uh, about a year ago, I read The Shrinking Man by Richard Matheson with my 12-year-old son, and uh, I used to write a lot of comic books, but I hadn't for a long time, and I thought, well, it might be kind of fun to write this with my son and sort of show him how scripts are written, and so we, we secured the rights to do an adaptation of that novel, and I can show you. We, um, you do. I believe we grabbed So my son and I actually did the script together. He ultimately decided he didn't want to put his name on it because he was a little nervous about uh, if, you know, t uh, reviews. And Let's see if it's successful first, Dad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, which is fine. But uh, so this is uh, the first comic I've written in a long time, based, again, based on the Richard Matheson novel, Shrinking Man. So, What was that transition like going from writing 
to not writing to writing again? Uh, it, I had forgotten how hard the writing is. And so it was a lot harder than I had remembered. And so, well, cause I hear from a lot of people, they say, you know, the big thing is you just got to keep as soon as you stop. That's what makes it hard. So getting back into it, I mean, kudos to you. Cause that's yeah, a big it jump. Hard and it, it honestly, it was probably good for me as a publisher to do that again, because it does remind me like, this is like making these things is hard. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. it, uh, get walk it's kind of like undercover boss walking a mile back in somebody's yeah, shoes. No, it really was. So I'm kind of glad I did it. And I'm actually, I'm still writing the fourth one. So I'm still in the midst of it. And, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a tough job. So I have, I've always had great respect for the creative folks that we work with, but this did kind of reinforce uh, that uh, this is a, this is a challenge to get done. So. Any ideas for any more books on the no, future? This would be a, this would be it for me for a while. So just yeah. the revisit that one little like vacation back into the writing. So remind everybody where, as far as for everything, because there's so much going on with IDW, where they can find everything online or social yeah, media. Absolutely. So IDW publishing.com is the sort of the center place for all of our different businesses. We do have IDW games as well. And then topshelf.com is a good online place. If you want to come visit the gallery and you're in the San Diego area, it's in a part of town called Point Loma and anybody in that part of town can uh, point you the direction of our gallery. And make sure if you haven't yet, check out the video that Comic Wild did. It's a nice tour of the gallery. Fantastic. Fell in love with it. Can't wait to visit it again. And anything else you want to remind us of that's going on with IDW? You know, the other thing is that we, we, we when we bought Top Shelf, we have a really important book that I'm very proud of, which is a book that's an autobiography of Congressman John Lewis called March. And it's his experiences in the civil rights marches in the 60s. And I'm really just really proud to be associated with that book. And if you haven't read that, that's definitely a book that's worth your time. Fantastic. Thanks so much for the information. And thank you for taking the time. Good luck with the rest of the con. And as always, you can find out everything about IDW on comicwild.com. For now, I'm Gigi. This is Ted Adams. And you're welcome.